What's up guys? It's Nasty Lovely coming at you with my week 12 post-op update and a uh, couple things in this video. I like to try to do as much as I can in one video so I don't have a whole bunch because I'm going to have a whole bunch <laughs> um, after this one. Um, first I wanted to tell you guys that I am this week doing the Sacred Heart Diet. Now um, I'll give you all the details in the videos following this because there will be the, the links to it if you're interested in doing it. Um, basically what it is, it's a seven day diet um, that's supposed to help you drop up to 17 pounds. Now you can do this whether you're pre-op or post-op and I would say to those of you who want to lose a little bit, those of you who haven't had your surgery and haven't even gotten the um, order from your doctor to start your um, pre-op diet, I would suggest you do this because um, so far so good. It's not a really big protein rich diet um, for a purpose because it's, it's a, the way that they have it it's very low in calorie so it helps you to reduce your body weight um, just within a week. Um, I'm officially on, I'll be on day three tomorrow and like I said I have two videos I need to well I haven't told you guys how many but I have two videos that'll be after this I have one with a commentary and one without and basically what that means is one with Misty Lovely showing you uh, cooking the soup as well as what I've eaten and then the other one is uh, day twos I had to make a whole nother batch of the um, soup because it just getting eaten up around here okay so that's the first thing and that's what I'm doing because my body is it's going through it decided to ha I don't even know if it's a plateau or what it is but it just it's decided to fight me so you know what I decided to shock it and I'm shocking it with this diet um, originally black candy um, is the one who presented it to the community and she's done it this is her second time so I was like you know I'm jumping on board I'm doing that as soon as I seen it you know she lost eight pounds and um, but she lost a total of ten in two weeks she did two weeks of it so anyway so I'll be having those videos right after this and I'll put a link to this one um, uh, well, I'll put a link to it in this description box below once it uploads, once both of them upload. You'll have day one and day two, and I'll be vlogging about day three as well. And I'll let you guys know my, I'll let you guys know my weight loss at, on next week, because as of right now, I had only had a day, and then today, um, yeah, it was only one day. This is just my second day, so I'm, I'll probably weigh in on day three, but more than likely, I'd rather just weigh in on next Tuesday and give you guys that update and do it all in one because my body's weird. Um, how my body works is whatever I do the the previous week, it's like a deposit, and in, in, in the outcome, I get the following week. So whatever I did from last Tuesday's week, I'm going to get that next week, if you know what I mean. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Anyway, so... But this week, let me tell you guys about what happened. Um, I had a video before this. You know, I didn't put the exercise in it because I couldn't record my uh, kickboxing class. But um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put that one in the description box below as well. Um, but I'm only mentioning that because of how I've been feeling this week. I'm going to be real honest with you guys. There's something... It's something something mentally has clicked with me that just had me like I kind of felt like a little bit down that's the only way I can put it I'm being honest with you guys you know I don't need any like feedback on it. I'm just saying like that's how I felt I don't know what it is or what it was I don't maybe it's the hormones they're still adjusting themselves even without the period you know it's 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 a process you know so maybe it was that but anyway um, I also realized some other things too that me personally I know what I said in my last video it's okay to indulge every now and then but this is what I've learned about my body I can't first of all I don't have any room because we being that we're on a low calorie diet you know the average weight loss patient gets in anywhere now this is everybody everybody's different this is me, mine is, my aim is 1,050 calories, but the average weight loss patient get, can get anywhere from 800 max to 1,050 max, and some people do over that. You know, um, my aim is always 1,050, but here lately I've been getting 800. So that's like a, um, 8 to 1,000, 800 to 1,000. So it's been kind of like this so my body's like what, what, what are you doing what, what, what are you doing it's like my body's trying to figure out what's going on 
So um, I just decided to just shock it and have some consistency with the uh, the diet that I'm doing with with the type of food that I'm putting in my body. And like I said, there's no protein, so um, that's another thing. That's another adjustment. So hopefully it will help. Um, as for weight loss, like I said, I won't even say my weight until next week. Let's just say I will say that I'm an ounce off my goal. <laughs> literally an ounce. Literally an ounce. So let's see what the um, Sacred Heart Diet does. So pretty much I'm maintained. Um, so yeah. So what I've learned that, it's like I said, it's important to eat quality foods. You know, um, you know, the, get your protein and get your water and get your cows, you know, from eating quality food because it's just like, I looked at it like this. It's just like a vehicle. Would you put, if, you're, if, you're, if your vehicle takes premium gas and it says it specifically, would you put the, the bad stuff in it? Regular unleaded? You know, um, what's the other one? You know what I mean. Your car works at the maximum, at its maximum capability when it has the right fuel in it. Same thing with your body. Your body works at the maximum capability when it has the right, correct fuel in it. So if you're putting junk in it, even if it is every now and again, for me personally, this is where Miss T Lovely is right now. I don't have no room to um, put stuff in my body that's not going to help me to get to my goal quicker. I just don't. I'm not going to lie to myself. Yes. If I want something like super bad, I'll go out and get a, a pack of it. But I've learned I can't, I'm not at the point, me personally, I'm not at a point yet where I can get a whole pack of something to bring in my house. I'm just not there yet. I still have that foodie problem where if cookies in is in the house, I'm probably going to eat more than one serving. Let's just keep it 100. And same thing with my Cheetos Puffs. If those is in the house, and I only had those once since surgery, since the whole almost three months, 28th, the 28th of um this month will make three months that I'm post-op. But I've only had those once. And, I, and I've, I've thought about them. <laughs> like another, like an ex or something. I can't have them. So um, I don't even go get them. I don't buy them and nothing like that. I've told you guys what I go buy and stuff like that. But that's about it. But no more bringing stuff in the house. Not to see if I can even tolerate because I know I can't. I just made it by my mind. I just know I can't. So I'm not going to do it. Okay, um... See what else I want to talk about. Mm. Mm, I said it. Anyway, so sorry. That was the longest pause in history, wasn't it? Um, just a couple more things here, and I'll let you guys go because I know I'm gonna have a couple more videos up here. Um. I want to tell you, I know that uh, Susan, Susan Q, like I said in my last video, she's sending out wristbands, and thanks for the correction, <laughs> she's sending out wristbands, um, and she only needs, I think she needs 29 more, hopefully less than that by now, um, to support her in, in trying to reach her goal uh, for her mom. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will put that one. Uh, it's called Misty Lovely Has Mail. I don't want to put too many in the description box below because it's like, oh my gosh. But it's called Misty Lovely's Got Mail. Um, I'll go ahead and put that in the inbox below. If I forget any, I'll just have to re watch this video. Um, okay. Two more things and I'm out of here. I Speaking of breast cancer, I wanted to tell you guys about this. Uh, Viactive. This stuff is really, really, really good. It tastes like a... Uh, it tastes a lot like a a Tootsie Roll. Um, yeah, just a lot like a Tootsie Roll. But the most important thing about it is, oh, and I'll, I'll show you one. And they're, they're chews. They're chews. They're calcium chews. They have the um, 500 milligrams. So you need about three of these a day. And uh, how many come in here? A hundred are in here. So, but um, the importance of these is, is that, uh, speaking of breast cancer, it says it may support breast health because vitamin D is being investigated for breast health benefits. While no medical cons consensus yet exists, emerging scientists suggest there may be a correlation between adequate levels of vitamin D and breast health. More research is needed. So, yeah, guys, take your vitamin D. Viactive, it's really, really good. I think it was only 10 bucks. One last thing, and I'm out of here. Uh, Miss T. Lovely's got mail. Again, so this is uh, Misty Lovely's Got Mail too. Um, 
it's from my brother so I want to personally thank you on uh, camera and open at her oh I gotta answer two questions and then I'll be gone something fell out of here hold on so oh my gosh my brother sent me a pedometer and I was watching his video I think it was last week and I saw a journal that he uh he had gotten and I so wanted it so bad I was like oh my god I want it he was like I'll send you one so oh my gosh so it's a this one's called the get fit fast because he knows I love to work out y'all know I love I gotta get my workout in so um uh and also too it includes a free pocket journal it's really excellent they have one called lose weight fast and get fit fast um, I'll be getting that one a little later um, but you can log your weight loss um, put the stickers goals achieved you can put the stickers on the days I guess you worked out or the days you you know when you get it to that goal and told you how to use the journal what you did strength training what day Ooh. Thank you, brother. I really like seriously. You don't know how much I appreciate this and you. I love you so much, LBJ Fat LBJ Fat Boy. If you don't know, you need to go over and check out my brother's channel. Yes, that's my brother. That's my baby brother. Um, I love you so much, Broski. Thank you again. I'm out of here. You guys know I can't ever do a short video. I love y'all. I hope this was informational. If it was, press like, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Ooh, questions I'm so sorry um what does full feel like I'm gonna be honest with you guys full you I don't even know what you recognize feelings of satiety you eat you take 20 minutes to eat your food and you will recognize the feeling of satiety I don't think you ever can get you don't ever want to get too full because if you get too full it will hurt in your ribs and things of that nature as well as um what was the other question I got? Um, should I eat half a cup or a whole cup of food? Okay, at some point you'll know when you're ready to move up. Because after my band, when, especially when I didn't have a fill, when my band started to loosen, that's when I started to uh, I up my food to a cup and I only let myself have a cup. Because I mentally, I may have not had to fill, but I mentally equipped myself to stay within that cup and that's it until I got my feel and you guys know when that was so anyway I'm all for real I'm so sorry this video is long as always and I'll put all my links below as I said and like I said go check out my brother's channel I love you guys and I will talk to you all later